Okay, where the heck are we going to park? I'm not parallel parking this truck. Okay, here we go. We'll park up here. Oh, what was that? There we go. We can park right here. Okay, let's just turn the lights off. Set the parking brake, turn the engine off, and YouTube, I will fast forward through that. No, I won't. Play it as it comes. Okay. Let's turn the parking brake off. Let's turn our lights on. Let's get out of here. Let's get on up out of here. Let's let's not waste no more time. What the heck has happened to our music? Hold on. Let's check our music. Okay, you two, let's turn that down a little bit. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, we're going back on to the highway. We do want to make sure we can get out. Yep. There we go. And we're on the road here. Listening to the William Tell Overture. Alright. Anyways, what was I saying? Before? Oh yeah, the Yaakov and his banjo. Anyways, he he brought his grades up from a B to an A or to an A. And my daughter Sarah she wanted to uh, play the piano. So they got her a piano. My son David, my oldest son David, he's, you know, he told me when he was little, he said, Daddy, I don't want to play no instrument. I'm like, well, you got to learn to sing then. Well, I, I, I don't want to tell you what instrument I want to play. Well, you got to tell me something. Okay, I want to play the flute. Okay, well, play the flute. It's an instrument. You know, at least. Well, he learned to play it, you know, in band. And it was pretty interesting. I, I did manage to go to a couple of the, a couple of the band concerts they, they did play.
but when he got into high school, he, he turned his career, or he turned his focus from, from band to auto mechanics. Which I'm glad he did because we made, I made a deal with him. I told him, you know, he could have a car as soon as he got his license, but he'd have to be the one to pay for it. So he did. He got him a car. You know, he got him a job, got him a car. Needed a whole lot of work done on it. But he managed to fix it up to where it's running. It's still running as of this video. And yeah, he's doing well. They've made him assistant manager of the of the store he's working at. I'm proud of him. He's got him a wife. I love her. She's a sweet girl. Oh, we should have stopped for some fuel. I don't know where the next fuel station is. There we go. I couldn't hear it on my end, y'all. There's a famous section that is that most people relate to as the William Tell Overture. But anyways, the uh, I'll just, I'll just give you a little family background now. Don't judge me. Don't judge me because I got divorced. I, I got married way too young. And it didn't work out between me and her. Don't judge me because I got divorced. I got married when I was way too young. I got married for all the wrong reasons. We didn't give two cents for each other, to tell you the truth. So, yeah, we, we were not compatible. You know, she come from a rich family, a very wealthy family. I come from a family that well, I wouldn't say poor, but we were we went high class. Well, I gotta turn up here. Okay. Yeah, I got a turn up here. So, yeah. Let's put the hammer down because we're going on to the main highway here. And we need as much speed as we can. And we need as much momentum as we can get. Is anybody coming? No, thank goodness. Okay. I 
blasted speed cameras. Oh well. Boy, that scared me half to death. Turn it down. At least turn my speaker down so I can hear myself. hearing was recorded back in 2011 at the family reunion. In the border. Let's see what flag that is. That is Poland and I believe Czech. Yeah. 
like I said in episode one, I still want to call it Kepler's Law. Well, yeah. Drinking driving here. Oh, I'm drinking water. Yeah, it gets a little interesting. When you're trying to drink and drive at the same time. But well, it's water, y'all. I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, we got seven hours to go. Before we have to sleep, not before we go sleepy by this. Police officer sitting on the side of the road, pointing a gun at you, or a speed gun, just waiting for you to go flying by. I don't like that. But I'm not one to complain. I don't make the rules. It's not that I don't like police officers. It's I don't like some police officers because they get the badge straight out of the police academy they get the badge and they automatically assume 
their god. Well, they're not. They let the title of officer go to their head, and I do have to get over for this. They let the title of officer go to their head, and they think they're all that and a bag of tater chips, and they ain't. They're not worth a bag of crisps. Most of them ain't, anyways. But they get the badge and they automatically assume, well, you know, I'm a police officer. I can do whatever I want. I can harass people for no reason. Or they're like, well, I have a duty to do favors for my friends and family. No, you took the oath to protect and serve the community. Not to harass innocent civilians who's not done anything against the law. You're not on, you didn't get the badge to be a tyrant. You was given the badge to protect the city of, of the community where you're at. You're not there to give tickets. You're not there to pull people over for a little bitty minor traffic offense for going one mile over the speed limit. You're there to protect the community from, from crooks. I'm sorry about the little rant, y'all. I just... It makes me frustrated when I see a, a policeman pull somebody over for going one mile over the speed limit. But they have a quota of tickets they have to give out in order to get their paycheck. And don't let them tell you otherwise because it's not, it's true, they do have a quota that they have to make. Believe me, I know. My dad's a police officer. I ha and there ain't no telling how many times he's come home complaining about he how he's how the he have upped his quota he had to make in order to get his paycheck. I know for a fact that they do have a quota to make. They have to give out so many tickets within a month. They have to give out so many tickets in a week in order to get their paycheck for that week. Which ain't right. The policemen are not there to be tyrant. They're there to... They're there to protect and serve the community. Not to give tickets or harass innocent civilians. Yes, I am pro-government. I, I am. You know, I do believe we do need some type of government structure to help make our decisions or to guide us in the right way. But do I think that government should have absolute power? Absolutely not. It should be the people. You know, they say that we vote them in there for us. You know, it's our voice that put them in office. Well, then they get in office and they don't want to listen to our voice. Which 
I think is wrong. And any government official that does that needs to be strung up by their toes. Well, we just knocked over a giveaway sign. Or yield sign. I need to stop it. Okay, let's go. tickets I don't feel like getting any tickets I don't want any tickets we'll stop so we can see the light but yeah like I said I, I am colorblind the reason why I knew to stop was because the top one was lit up and I'm sorry about my chair, y'all. I still have not old this chair after three weeks. Now we can go. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put it in gear and let's go. Well, anyways, YouTube, I'm sorry about the little rant. I, I just get frustrated sometimes when I see a, a police officer brutally use their power. Use their power in not the right way. It's wrong. And the politicians are just as much to blame as the local police department. Okay, let's get over. I'm not going to brag yet, YouTube, because I don't know exactly what's going to happen up ahead. Oh, I hope nothing happens. But we're 150 miles out. Thereabouts. We. Let's check the map. Oh, really? We're not even in Austria yet. Okay. And we gotta stop in three hours. Blast it. Well, you know what? We're gonna. We are gonna pick up some hours of service violations. And that'll be okay. No, it won't. It will not be okay. We have to make our delivery on time and safely. But yeah. We'll 
will make it there eventually. Listening to Brahms lullaby is making me tired. I know the speed limit is 43, but as it is, we are running behind schedule, so. Them lights stopped us. They slowed us down. Oh, YouTube, I got a cough. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. We didn't miss much. We just went around a curve. No, we didn't go around a curve. We had to quickly correct our... As you see, we had to quickly correct. Oh, you come around me, huh? Well, if you can come around me at... 50 miles an hour and go ahead. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we got about three hours to get there. So we're going to have to really put the hammer down on here because we need is we need to make this delivery real quick. Anyways, you two, if I did split this up, this is part two. I don't know exactly where I split it up at. We'll, we'll get there. We're going to get there. Okay, just go on. Y'all, go ahead and turn. Get out of my way. I got a delivery to make. I ain't got no time to mess with you. Like I said, we got a lot of, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry YouTube, I... <sighs> anyways, we got a long ways to go and we ain't got much time to get there, yeah, we're, we're barely going to make it within our sleep time limit or hours of service oh, I, hate, I hate the hours of service law I really do hate that law it, it's ridiculous yeah we're not going to take the off ramp on at doing no 55 miles an hour. That is not going to happen. We can't. We can't do it that fast. Yep, Italy and good luck. We're going to get a Lord, I feel like I gotta sneeze again.
Yep. We're going to Graz. From a town in northern Poland. Which I could not pronounce. Yeah, Lord, we're... We're barely going to make it within our hours of service. Just barely going to make it within our hours of service. How much time we got left? Oh man, we should have stopped. Probably gonna catch us some violation of hours of service fines. Well, if we stop now, we will definitely we'll definitely be late with our delivery. Yep, we'll definitely be late with our delivery. So let's not stop. <sighs> well, you two, we might have to. I just have to make a late delivery. Yeah, we might just have to make a late delivery. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll make a late delivery. God, I don't want to do that, though. to make a late delivery. Oh, maybe we can find a place to stop up here. So we'll just stop right here at this at this parking center even though even though we're 40 miles out <coughs> excuse me I've got to pause the video even though we're 40 miles out we have to stop to sleep and we're gonna make a late delivery I hope they accept it. If not, oh well. There ain't no way I can fit in there. Yep. 
Well, it can't arrive on time because I have to stop to sleep. What the heck? This. You know. You know what? We're just going. We'll just go on. I don't want to do it, but we, we'll just go on. Customers want delivery made real soon, so we'll just go on and we'll do auto park. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry, I ain't got time to sleep. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, we don't have time to sleep because we're already late. Oh. I don't care if that is a place to sleep. We ain't got time. <sighs> I know we're tired. But what we'll do is we'll auto park when we get there. As soon as we hit the yard, we'll auto park. And then that'll be it for this episode. I know we normally park our own trailers, but we can't with this because as you can see, we got 12 minutes left before we have to stop. And we're 33 minutes out. And the job expires on at, at eight o'clock. So so we don't have time. And we'll be really late if we stop. Yep. Okay, yeah, you can see it. Starting to get real tired. Oh, Lord. Yeah, like I said, we don't have time to sleep. Unless we want to make a real late delivery. Unless we want to make a real late delivery, we ain't got time to sleep. I could go in the options and turn off the fatigue or fatigue. But why would I do that? Well, to give me a little more time, I guess. You know what, YouTube? I'll be right back. That's exactly what I'm on. Okay, YouTube, I, I fixed that. I, I, I unchecked or I unticked the box for fatigue simulation because I want I want to make this delivery 
myself. I want to park the trailer myself. I normally don't do that. Come on, you gotta go right out of the way. Get out of the way. Excuse me. <coughs> Alright, there we go. Yay, good. I just discovered. And no, you cannot make a ride on red. You cannot make a ride on red. Not the game anyways. In some towns you can't make a ride on red either. to be as realistic as I can after all this is a game but like I said I don't turn off the uh, fatigue very often except maybe in my personal game but my personal game also has a police uh, turned off. So. Okay, well, what are you going to tell us Overture is playing? Kind of scared me half to death. That did scare me. Yeah, we're, we're a minute away from our destination. This truck will go on. I want to stop at this light again. Taking it a little too fast. Okay, there we go. There he is. There's a recruitment agency over there, which we'll get later. Right now, I ain't worried about it. Destination. Ooh, look, pull up some. All right. All right. Where is our? Go that way. Can't go that way, so we're going straight. Okay, here we go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Whoa, slow down. Okay, I think we got to turn here. Yes.
Okay, there we are. Okay. Let's pull in here. And then we'll back in. Well, we put it into a docking area, but the wrong one. Speak okay YouTube we we had to get out we had to get out the foreman came up and said hey you, you just hit a truck or you just hit the other trailer get out so we had to get out and we did lose some money that way because of that we lost 1,929 euros but on the other hand we did get 22,814 euros which is okay so yeah I oh, wouldn't we got a level Hmm. Okay, we'll do that. Anyways, YouTube. Oh yes, we hit our we hit our hundred thousand euro mark. Yay, we hit our hundred thousand euro mark. We got one hundred and ten thousand one hundred and forty two euros. So yes, we did hit our 100,000 euro mark. Yes, which is good. So we are going to do what we said we was going to do in next episode. But anyways, YouTube, this has been D Ho or yeah, this has been D Hoax Claw, aka DAH8310, or aka Mr. D's Transport. Anyways. I will catch you later, YouTube. Have a good day, and I will I will show you right now. So, you won't say I didn't do it. Turn the fatigue simulation on. Yes. Okay, anyways. Please like, comment, leave me a suggestion. You may subscribe. Anyways, God bless you. Have a good day, and... I'll catch you back later for episode 9. Alright, bye bye.